Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna talk about Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Developed by Ubisoft Montreal and released on December 2015, this game is inspired by counter-terrorist activities across the world. Siege puts heavy emphasis on environmental destruction and cooperation between players, with a total of 30 operators to choose from being 15 attackers and 15 defenders, the lack of options to play the game is never there, since every match is a new opportunity to try a different approach. Rainbow Six Siege features three main game modes, Situations, Multiplayer and Terrorist Hunt. The Situations mode features 10 tutorial missions that allow the players to practice gameplay concepts while playing offline against bots. Now the multiplayer features three sub-game modes, Bomb, Hostage and Secure Area. With each match being 5 vs 5 player, they have less than 4 minutes per round to secure their objective, with each team needing to win at least 3 rounds to win the match. The PvE game mode in Siege or Terry Sands returned from past installments of the series. Sharing many game modes with the multiplayer, it also features a classic game mode which tasks players with eliminating a set number of terrorists based on difficulty who have fortified themselves on the map. Ranked is also available for the player as soon as they reach level 20. While essentially the same as casual multiplayer, ranked naturally features more competitive gameplay and offers some small changes. For example, players have now the option to choose their spawn point rather than be a random location on the map, and they are ranked up based on their performance against the enemy team. Now you can only pick one operator per round and cannot be changed until that round is over. Each operator features a selection of different weapons, abilities and equipment, all of which can be extremely limited, so I advise you to use the gadgets wisely. You can also customize your operators and the weapons that we are using by applying skins. All can be done on the menu before you join the matches. And this is done by acquiring Renown, the Rainbow Six Siege currency. Matches are conducted in a 5 vs 5 manner, with each player only receiving one life per round. As such, it's extremely important to communicate with your teammates and plan assaults when attacking or defense when defending. Now, attackers start each round with 60 seconds to send a drone to survey and detect items in the environment, allowing players to find enemies and targets and, if possible, mark them before the drone is destroyed. Defenders, on the other hand, have the ability to fortify their location and prepare themselves for the attack that is to come. This is done by setting up reinforced walls and barricading the area around the objectives. Also, you can use the unique abilities of the operators in your team to prevent or stall the advance of the enemy team. Rainbow Six Siege is focused on three main pillars, teamwork, tactics and tension. Each map features multiple locations for both the attackers and defenders to choose from. Each map is designed to be close quartered oriented and have an emphasis on vertically and destruction. The destruction system allows players to break structures by planting explosives on them or to make bullet holes on walls by shooting at it. Players may gain tactical advantage through environment destruction and that the system aims at encouraging players to utilize creativity and strategy. The game features a total of 16 maps so far, each featuring their own day and night cycles. Now going through equipment and weapons, the game features so far 65 weapons, dozens of attachments and 12 unique gadgets available to use by the players. The game also features cosmetic changes, either for your operator or for the weapons you are using. You can either buy them with in-game currency or by using real money. Now the newest update to Rainbow Six Siege brought the Alpha Packs. Like other popular shooters on the market that offer loot crates, Alpha Packs are one-time use packs containing a single piece of random cosmetic gear. While various cosmetic add-ons have been available in-game for some time, 
the introduction of Alphapex marks their first major appearance outside the game store. Now my final thoughts about Siege. Rainbow Six Siege is a unique FPS that provides a unique experience to the players. The tactical approach and the one life per round is something players are not used to and in my opinion is one of the things that make this game so special. Just keep in mind that like every other game that is out there for us to play, you're still gonna find some glitches or bugs. Now is Rainbow Six Siege worth buying? In my opinion, yes. I've been playing a lot of this game and so far all the glitches and bugs I encounter, I can live with. And that's all for today guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you all on the next video.